In this session, we're going to take a look at adding categories to our auto mockups mockups library, and that's very easy to do. All you need to do is go to your mockups library management tab, come over here under categories, and just click on add. Here you can add a name. I'll give this name called blue t shirts. And you can set up or organize your mockups and flyers and order forms, etc., however you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and click save on that. Now that'll be available once it's finished saving in my categories. I can also create subcategories. So I could go to my blue t shirt, go to subcategory, and add a subcategory there also. Go ahead and cancel that. Then I can take my products, for example, this blue t shirt, and I can add this to also my blue t shirts. Go ahead and click on save. If I go to my library, and I go to blue t-shirts, you notice know, that's all I'll have there. So if you had your system loaded with say 50 or 60 different mockups, you could organize them very effectively through categories and subcategories. The same thing with your flyers. If you want to create a category for flyers or order forms, you could separate those, and then sort them out through your categories and then load them directly into CorelDRAW as you needed to giving you the ability to have very quick access to your different mockups, your different order forms, and your different flyers working with your My Mockups library with Auto Mockup from AdvancedT-Shirts.com. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to easily add and manage your categories. You can also edit and delete them, etc. And really effectively manage your mockups and your flyers and your order forms and your folders working with Auto Mockup. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.